Can the United States really keep up with China's technological juggernaut? Picture this. While America grapples with a fragmented 5G rollout, China is already dominating the skies with its vast network of 5G-based stations, numbering over 2 million. But wait, this is just the tip of the iceberg. China has quietly become a global leader in artificial intelligence, amassing more AI patents than any other country combined. In fact, China's AI industry is projected to be worth over $300 billion by 2025, far outpacing the United States of America. America may have Silicon Valley, but China's tech ecosystem spans from quantum computing to AI-driven cities, challenging everything we thought we knew about technological supremacy. China has already constructed AI systems that can analyze billions of data points every second, revolutionizing industries like healthcare, finance, and even agriculture. Meanwhile, the United States is still debating whether to regulate its own AI sector. And what about semiconductors? The U.S. still leads in innovation, but China's hunger for self-sufficiency in semiconductor manufacturing is terrifying. In fact, China has been rapidly advancing its own domestic semiconductor supply chain, rendering itself less reliant on American companies like Intel and TSMC. China's tech dominance doesn't stop at AI and hardware. Its surveillance systems are light years ahead of anything the West has ever seen. The Chinese government is already deploying facial recognition technology across cities, with plans to have over 1 billion cameras installed by 2025. Not only is China pushing the boundaries of surveillance technology, but it is also quietly exporting this model to authoritarian regimes worldwide. Can the U.S. even begin to compete with that? America has yet to overcome critical infrastructure issues, such as a fragmented broadband network, while China is already well into the development of its smart cities. With global power now defined by technological supremacy, one thing is clear. If America cannot close the tech gap with China, it risks losing its seat at the table of future world powers.